So I figured what I would do um, is share my writing space here uh, to show you where all the magic happens. And um, eventually we're gonna move uh, my writing space upstairs on the deck when we enclose it. But this is where I'm writing right now. Um, this is my writing space. It's, uh, I've got some of the books, my um, uh, history collection, the rest are in storage up here. I've got uh, World War II, World War II, the Civil War, um, Napoleonic Wars, um, American Revolution, and then just reference books and stuff like that. Uh, so this couch is quite comfortable. It's actually a pullout. Um, haven't used it as a pullout, but when I need a nap, I'll take a nap. I love this artist right here, uh, Hubert Robert. He um, captured a lot of ancient Rome um, what it looked like uh, back in the day before they started restoring it. And it, it is just absolutely phenomenal. It's, it's one of, he's one of my favorite artists. If you haven't heard of him before, check it out. Um, you can see people living in the ruins of uh, ancient Rome, which is really cool. And it's helped my writing, helped me visualize it and stuff like that. Uh, so good old Centurion helmet. Um, cool topographical map that's over 100 years old. Uh, I have, I use two computers, I actually got a manuscript right here that shall remain nameless, but I've got two computers that I work on, uh, simultaneously. Um, a lot of times one is for reference, one is for where I'm actually working at. I've got my Excel Bibles and everything that I, I work with over there. Um, I love my Magnus desk. It's uh, a steel desk. It comes with a, a whole mouse pad on top. And um, it's absolutely, uh, absolutely great. I've got the cable management system open there because I take the laptops out all the time and work around the house, work on the deck. Uh, this is my favorite keyboard. Uh, it's a Razer. It's a writer's keyboard. Uh, I have two of them. Every time I, um, somebody tells me that their hands hurt from writing, this is the kind of keyboard that I recommend to them. And I can't tell you how many people... Um, uh, I've recommended to and they bought and they loved it. And I also like these monitors. I've got the wide monitors, uh, low light. It allows me to, to basically um, um, increase the size when my eyes hurt uh, because I'm staring at a computer screen typing all day. Um, as you can see, what I'm working on here right now is I'm finalizing chapter 21 today for um, Infinity Control. It's 21 out of uh, 27 chapters right now, 22 went off to the editorial team last night. That was a huge chapter, about 35, um, um, 35 pages. This chair is a Secret Lab Omega chair. I absolutely love it. It helps my back. It's I'm sitting down all day, and it's just absolutely phenomenal. I, I can't recommend the Secret Lab stuff enough. The, um, the, the, the desk, this... It, it hides all the cables, um, works really well. It's totally magnetized. Uh, it, it just makes it very comfortable to write at. One of the things I'm considering getting is the new, uh, new um, Secret Labs desk that is a standing desk that rises, but it's very expensive and I can't justify the price right now. So uh, over here, I've got uh, more reference books and histor uh, history books and stuff like that that um, I draw on on a regular basis. You can see part of my Roman army collection here. Um, just uh, really, really um, uh, helpful and handy stuff. And uh, some of the older books and more Roman and uh, ancient history stuff. And this is interesting. I picked this up a long time ago, like Guide to Edible Plants, um, euphemism, Euphemisms, uh, Biography, all this stuff. Some of this stuff comes in handy occasionally. And the Spartans. So if you've read uh, the Karasaga book three, um, you may see some of them in book four, which I'm about to really uh, start hammering on hard. Got some proofs here for the Patreons. Uh, as the proofs come in, we save them. And uh, um, they're, they're going to go off to uh, the people for the qualifying tiers when the time comes up. And um, these are these are books you can see it says not for resale. And what these books are basically for is uh, me 
uh, to look and make sure everything um, looks perfect uh, and there's not an error or anything like that. And then I go ahead and I approve it and the book goes off for publishing. But uh, this is a hardback and I absolutely love the hardbacks. They're, they're very solid. Um, here you've got Fallen Empire. I'm almost done with Infinity Control. And I, I can't wait to wrap that one up. I'm at the really exciting part of the book right now. And um, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun to write. But, uh, but again, this is just my writing space, guys. Um, it's comfy. And um, I'll wrap around. Eventually, we're going to put a barn door kind of style there. So it separates it from the rest of the area. The, the kids are over there playing and watching TV. And it makes it hard to write. But uh, again, I hope you enjoyed the tour of my writing area and also down here even though I'm in the basement I do have a view and I open I can open the door today it's a little bit cold and um, I get a nice view of the mountains here but when I move upstairs I'm going to get probably next year I'm going to get an even better view of the mountains and then we have um, it's just uh, just nice and peaceful um, this is an incredible writing environment but uh, I hope you enjoyed the tour and thank you for watching